Arrow to the right, highlight Parental and press the OK button on the remote to make changes to your parental settings. If you wish to change your PIN for your ratings PIN or purchase PIN, highlight Change PIN and press the OK button on the remote to change your PIN. Enter your old PIN followed by your new PIN. Once you have re-entered your new PIN, highlight OK and press the OK button on your remote and your PIN will be changed. As a function of parental controls, you can lock specific channels. This means each time you attempt to view a locked channel, a PIN is required. Selecting the Edit Locked option in Parental Controls allows you to lock the specific channels that will then require your PIN in order to view them. You will be prompted for your PIN which will then display a list of your channels. Using the up and down arrow buttons on your remote, select the channels you wish to lock and press the OK button on your remote to put a check mark next to the channel you wish to lock. If you wish to unlock a channel, highlight that channel and press the OK button on your remote to remove the check mark. If you decide you don't want your changes to take effect, press the red button on your remote to discard them. Press the blue button on your remote to save your changes. This will show a display telling you they have been successfully changed. Click OK on your remote to return to normal viewing. Highlight Set Rating if you would like to set parental ratings based on the rating of movies or TV shows. To access the screen, you will need to enter your PIN. Use the arrow buttons to change the TV ratings or movie ratings. For example, if you choose TV 14, anything rated TV 14 and above will require a PIN for viewing. The Time Restrictions category allows you to set time periods per day where television access requires a PIN. These time restrictions may be set by selecting the green button to add restriction. A new restriction will appear to the right of the week schedule. Arrow to the right to select a day and press the OK button. Once a day has been selected, use the up-down arrows to select a time and either AM or PM for both start and end time restriction. In this example, viewing TV will not be allowed without a pin from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Sunday night. 3.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Monday through Thursday nights, and 9 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. on Friday night. When you are done creating time restrictions, select the Exit button. Select Cancel Override if you would like to allow any previous PIN overrides for an extended period of time to be canceled. To cancel an existing override, select OK within the Cancel Override prompt. Once the override has been canceled, the parental PIN will need to be used for all locked and rated channels. The Options tab under the Parental menu requires the ratings PIN to be entered in order to update any setting. Enter your PIN and select OK and press the OK button. Once the ratings PIN has been entered, you may choose to have locked channels and or show restricted titles visible. Selecting a no value for either setting will cause these programs to not appear in the guide. Select OK within the prompt and press the OK button. While viewing a channel, key in a different channel. This is indicated in green just above the status bar. Since this channel is a locked channel, a prompt appears to enter a PIN to view the programming. The service will keep prompting for a PIN until a correct PIN is entered or until you select Exit. Then, an invalid PIN screen will appear. Press Last on your remote control to continue viewing the previously viewed channel or press Guide to search for a different program to view. Another parental control function allows you to set ratings for permissible programming. Browsing the guide, you see a channel you'd like to view. It's rated PG-13 as noted in the description of the program. The parental controls have been set at PG-13 as the maximum rating allowed for viewing, so a prompt appears to enter a PIN. If a correct PIN is entered, the program appears. If an invalid PIN is entered, the Enter PIN screen remains until you press Exit, and then a display will show that you are unable to watch the selected channel due to an invalid PIN. Press Last to return to the previously viewed program or Guide to search for a different program to view.